Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode three of Nina the Starry Brides. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Ah. I don't think it is. Usually with things like this, it's never over. Nina. Nina. Friendship bracelets. Yeah.
You just fucked up. Like, damn, bruh. She's on, honey. So hard headed, and of course, she's gonna go to him. We don't know. I mean, yeah, it makes the most sense it would be her because she is such a bitch.
But then the thing is, she's dead. Listen, God, because I feel like now a whole bunch of people know this secret. <laughs> Oh my god, girl. No, you're still needed. That's right.
looking at you. That's it? That's it? I don't even think I could sleep after that. I don't even think I would want to sleep after that. How? You, you just go kiss her? Say it's a dream, be like, hey, yo, good night. How? Sleep well. Oh my god. You can't do that. The chemistry. Now, you know when the other one comes in, the white hair guy, it's going to be worse because the chemistry is just going to be there. And it see, like, once again, with this show, when the trailer for this came out and I watched it, girl, I, do you, you want to know how many times I watched the trailer for this show? I watched it way too much. I, like, when I heard, but a couple of, two, three months ago before this came out, right? And I heard... The two seiyus that I have crushes on, who are playing the two male leads in this, I was over the moon. I still am. So hearing both of them in this, and I cannot wait to see them, like, have conversations in this with each other. Oh, my God. It got worse because, like, my subs know, like, which seiyus I have crushes on. And literally, as I posted this, like, I think three or five minutes later, one of my subs was just me. And, like, every single time DJ here is, um... What's his face? This is how she goes. And I'm like, and it's true. It's so true because I love his voice so freaking much. His voice is so freaking deep. So freaking good. I, I cannot. Anytime he talks, I cannot. But they're, they're, they're both cute together. It's just right now I can't really ship it and, and such. Because they're like, yeah, like they have cute little moments and everything. But it just feels like almost one off where it's like, yes, Nina is the one who's in love, and he's just, like, um, not here for fun. He just looks at, at Nina as, okay, you are a mission. You are nothing else. I'm still going to call you by your name when it's just you and me, da 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 da, da. But at the end of the day, we have this to get done. But slowly but surely, once he was looking at her eyes, you could tell that he is also falling for her as well. But once the white hair guy comes in, all bets are freaking off. I don't know how we're going to do this love triangle and such. I really don't know. This is now, it's like, place your freaking bets on who the freak she, <clears throat> who the freak she's ending up with by the time either this season ends or the series ends in <laughs> inevitably. Because right now, like, she could end with either one. She's either going to be in a arranged marriage with a white hair boy and such, who was possibly like a tyrant and such, or she's going to be with us. And, and I don't know. We, we got to see the chemistry with the white haired guy. So I hope um within the next what like two three weeks from now he does possibly show up maybe even in tomorrow's episode i'm not sure but we gotta wait and see obviously this was a very enjoyable episode um i love the fact that she got to see the older king but even with him and his like situation and knowing that he's going to inevitably um reach the end of his life very soon that even though he can't get up and stuff, he still is trying to do something for her. But damn, now that everybody has this freaking secret knowing either about him or her, like, it, it was very obvious to the fact is going into, I think, what, episode two, when he was, like, saying little hints in there, like, I'm not the actual prince and stuff, but them confirming it in this episode that he isn't the original prince and, and everything, it is truly sad that, you know, his life is like this and he's lived alive for a longer time than her because who knows how long Nina has to live this lie it, it might have to be up until her demise and such and she will never be known as Nina again and stuff and, you know you feel bad for that but sometimes it is like that for people in real life sometimes they have to kill off the person that they once were and start a life of someone new which is truly upsetting yeah 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of Nina, the Starry Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all tomorrow when I come home from work for episode four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.